What's up everybody, my name is Jake Stone and today I'm gonna to go over the top five places to invest in real estate here in the US while you're on a budget. And by on a budget, I mean under $250,000. Here we go. First place we have up is Nashville, Tennessee. Now, I'm gonna go over some things. I just pulled this uh, photo off Zillow and you can pick this place up. It's just under 800 square foot, two bed, one bath for $205,000. Um, pretty close to the center of Nashville and the Zestimate on the rent is just about $1,300. Now, if you're putting 20% down on $205,000 for a mortgage, you're looking at a pretty good rate of return on this um, because your mortgage is gonna be pretty low, I would guess right around that $900 range. So, um, but $205,000 for a house, um, as you can see in the photos there, it's pretty updated. It's basically a turnkey house, has good landscaping um, and looks pretty good. Um, Airbnb is a huge thing in Nashville because it gets a lot of traveling people. So I've heard of properties over in Nashville getting $10,000 plus a month for their Airbnbs. Next we have Naples, Florida. Now this is kind of like a small town it seems like. I've watched some videos, I've never been there, but I've done my research and I would also encourage everybody to go do their own research on all these properties and not just take my word for it. But um, this is a sick little town right on the beach. Um, I've heard they get less than one hurricane every 10 years, it seems like. I know they just had one roll through and I uh, watched a video on one of the guys and he said it wasn't that big of a deal, but they're kind of like a little nook um, to the side of the state. But based off this photo um, from Zillow, once again, you can pick up this two bed, two bath, thousand square foot house for just 135,000 and it looks pretty updated like a solid little house and rent is estimated is about $1,400 a month. Again, if you're putting 20% down on this house, your mortgage is probably gonna be under $700. So that's a pretty good return on this guy. Florida, a huge traveling point, especially in Naples. I guess they're pretty known for getting a lot of travelers, a lot of retired people, a lot of rich people coming in there. Um, sounds like a pretty quiet town, but um, an Airbnb would probably do pretty well. I haven't done a whole lot of research, but just based off of how much attention they get and how many travelers they get through the winter, I think an Airbnb would probably kill it. Next up is Atlanta, Georgia. Beautiful city. It's a little more on the high side. This was a really nice house. Some of the other houses that I found under 220, um, I couldn't really pull up a rent estimate for some reason they didn't have it on there, but we'll go off this one. The list price is 249,900, so just under 250,000. It's a three bed, two bath, a thousand square foot. Um, again, if you're putting 20% down, your mortgage is probably gonna be around the $1,200 range. So your rate of return isn't the greatest on this, but the rent's estimate is about 1,500 bucks a month. And it's a sick turnkey house, looks really nice, great curb appeal. And the days in Atlanta with unfilled tenants is very low. Next up, we got Charleston, South Carolina. Now this property is really cute. It's a little more expensive, I would think, for the square footage, but the rent is estimate is super high for the area. So uh, this property looks like a turnkey property. It looks pretty updated. It looks like it's got new floors and it's listed at 225,000, three bed, one bath, just under a thousand square foot. But the rent's estimate is uh, just about, just a little over 1,700 a month. So if you're throwing 20% down on this house, your mortgage is gonna be right around that probably $1,200, $1,300 a month area. And if you are getting 1,700 bucks a month for it, that's a pretty good rate of return on that thing. Last but not least, we have Swix Falls in South Dakota. Now this is the last one on my list simply because it's such a small town. They do have a community college, a tech school, and a university, and COVID didn't really affect them too much, and they're pretty close to Minnesota, so they're gonna get a lot of traveling people and probably a lot of people moving there. They're multifamily units. I didn't take any screenshots, but you can pick up a duplex or a triplex or even a fourplex for under $180,000 and the rent rate on those are about the same as this property I'm about to show you here that I have on Zillow. This is just a one bed, one bath, just under a thousand square foot for 139 grand. And the rent's estimate on it is 950 bucks a month. This is a super cheap property in an awesome area. Uh, if you're throwing 20% down on this house, your mortgage is probably gonna be under 650 bucks a month. So the rate of return is okay, but this property is just really cheap along with the multifamily. And then the growing community out there, I would definitely consider this location for investing in real estate. 
Like I said, do your own research. Don't take my word for any of this. This is just my top five properties for the research that I've personally done. So if you have any other suggestions as to locations for uh, real estate investing on a budget, go ahead and comment below. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And we'll see you in the next one.